today is Saturday and I am wanting to vlog briefly and show you guys my place. When I was moving into here, it was raining, okay? It was raining on the moving day and I wanted to show you guys certain things. I'm not settled in yet. It's only been about a week and some change since I've been in here. Well, honestly, today makes a full week since I've been in here. Um, but I had the keys to the apartment since June 4th. And I wanted to ex show the experience with you guys. I'm still getting settled in. The place is still pretty empty, as you can hear from the echo. Today, I'm actually running to the store to get some stuff. So I probably might bring you with me. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm trying to come up with some ideas of what I want and the aesthetic that I want for this place. But here is my empty apartment tour okay so as you can see guys once you walk in here is my kitchen i've never had a kitchen that i've like absolutely loved and adored like this yes things are a little messy the, that thing is in place yet I did get a lot done as far as like breaking down boxes but some of the things I love about my kitchen in particular is this beautiful subway white tiles in the kitchen it comes with the microwave already the appliances are stainless steel and black together uh, I love that the refrigerator is also stainless steel I don't have much in here but what I've had in my previous place really is just like healthy food when it comes to my smoothies some stuff over here and I have a pretty empty refrigerator have water a celebratory bottle of wine from a co-worker and I'm just excited to get it started. As you look at the floors, the floors, of course nowadays you would think it's like real hardwood. These are vinyl, but I wanted something that just wasn't carpet, you know? These are my cabinets, beautiful cabinets. Um, just basic things here. Some basic little bowls that I've had and plates that I've had already since the last place. And I have some mugs, yeah. These mugs are from What's the spot? The place that I, it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. So Bed Bath & Beyond had these mugs. I've seen them forever. I've noticed them on the reel, but I never knew where to get them. I was gonna get them from Amazon, but Amazon had them like low key a little overpriced. So I got them at Bed Bath & Beyond. I wanna say they were just for $5.99 a piece. So about $20 they came out to. Trust me, I'm gonna take these off. Okay, don't judge me for that. They're gonna come off. It was just there, so I just put them away. Um, you guys know we got Pandora and just a, a mug. Well, not really a mug, but I guess like a cup that I use sometimes when it, I used to put smoothies in there. I might put some tea in there. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this is my little space so far. Now, one thing that I absolutely wanted when it came to my kitchen was an island. Because I want to shoot content that is just aesthetically pleasing. And I wanted an island so bad. So what I'm gonna do here is actually place some bar stools. It's big enough to have about three bar stools that I have in mind. So like opposed to having a traditional place to eat like a dining room table, I'm gonna be doing a bar stools right here. So I'll eat here, I'll host and have little stuff here too. The space is pretty big. It's bigger than what I expected. And I know for myself where when I thought of like, this is literally like, to be honest, my first real place by myself. I've had roommates in the past, and from having roommates, I moved in with the former boo. We'll talk about that. I know I have a lot to explain. You can ask me questions down below, <laughs> but I have a lot to explain about that. And based on the, the last video you saw that I did on my channel about cheating, you can come up with your own assumptions, but there's so much more that I have to talk about that. But for right now, this video was about my new place, so bear with me. You will see is like my office area. This is where I'm gonna set up stuff for my YouTube channel. So typically this would have been a dining area, you know? But I opted not to do that, where I'm gonna just do an office area over here. This is my living room. You know, I already have my modem and my router connected. Um, the other day, this whole place was full of boxes and stuff to get me settled in, but I'm gonna have two couches placed over here that I have in mind already from American Signature. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna look for some more discount furniture just in case. I'm gonna do a rug on the floor here as well. 
I have some visions. The space is going to be super dope. Like, even over here, I'm on the first floor, by the way. So, for this, for the blinds here, I'm actually going to get installed of, like, white sheer curtains to go over here. I'm not going to do curtains over here, though. I'm going to keep this pretty basic the way that it is right now. But when it goes to my bedroom, I'm gonna have white sheer curtains that match both of them as well. Over here, I have a patio. So, this is my patio area. Decent, nice view. It's um, cute out here. It's like very suburban-esque kind, but I'm not too far from the city either, so I don't want you guys to get it confused. Like, it's still cute. Still cute out here. I think I might do something like kind of like a bohemian chic kind of vibe. Having your own space though is that I decide what I want to do. I've had to compromise everywhere I've lived, specifically like my mother's house, college, living with roommates, having the boom. I'm always compromising with somebody. And now it's the first time in my life where I can just be a little selfish and pick what I want. Um, so stepping over here, we'll go into, actually before we go into our bedroom, we'll go back over here. This area has, oh, in one second, before I go into here, one thing I absolutely love about this place is the natural lighting, where previously I've had like photo shoots for my blog and things of that nature, I would have to rent out an Airbnb because wherever I was staying or living wasn't aesthetically pleasing the way that I wanted it to be and an Airbnb was easier to book because it had what I needed. Now, I want to make my home my place where I'm literally shooting my own content, my own pictures, everything. I don't wanna go outside of my place to go somewhere else. I want my place to be like ready. And this is like a, a, a great shell to start with. So over here uh, is my washer and dryer which was super important to me to have as well. I, I worked out earlier, so I had it sitting over there. Um, but yeah, my dryer, washer, closing in that needs to be washed. We're not gonna go in there. Have some stuff up there, of course, things that I need. Um, it's so different when you're by yourself doing it. Cause I'm so used to like having way more stuff up there, but then when it's just you, you notice like it's not that much stuff that you really need. Now a bedroom is not put together right now, guys. This is gonna be very, 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 very real. <laughs> um, things need to be fixed and changed and completed, but this is my bedroom so far. Nothing lavish as of yet, but I wanted a cream light bed. So when I shoot in here that I don't blend in with the background. Um, the sheets are not staying there. This was just to get me over the first week. This is a blanket from literally my mom's house, <laughs> but I've had forever. I'm actually gonna get white bedding for here. I ordered it already, so you guys are gonna see that eventually. Um, of course, those are my windows over there, full body mirror over here. This isn't staying here. This is all just temporary stuff for now. Um, but the bed is definitely something that I got from Ashley Furniture, where I wanted to get some stuff that was just, you know, up to date, thought that I was cute, that I could handle. I knew he, and this may sound kind of crazy, but I'm just gonna say it like it is. I knew he couldn't handle light furniture like this where some way, somehow, there would be some kind of accident, stain, or whatever that would end up on it. But I know for me, I could handle it. Uh, over here is my bathroom. Now, this is gonna be a little scary because it's not together. Again, I've only been here for a few days, a week now, and I've had to work, come back and forth, work. And I'm also still on my budget, so I'm trying to make sure that I keep myself honest and true to what I'm trying to do here. Not done, box on the floor, bags, um, things I need to go through. This is the mirror. I spent a lot of time trying to organize my closet, so we're gonna go in there soon. Um, typical shower, uh, yeah, this will be all updated. You will see me get this place together, um, cause now it's just me. Uh, this is my closet. I have some things to like clean and fix. Um, this was the previous background to my um, channel last time while I was shooting, but this is how my closet is currently set up and put together. Hats up there, jackets. Try to get a little color coordinated a little bit. Um, but this is how my closet is currently looking. It's the biggest closet I've ever had, if I'm gonna be honest, it really is. Uh, this is my first like real place, so hey guys. I'm gonna be running out soon to go and 
figure out some things for this place but yeah as you can see this is how the apartment is laid out how it currently looks um, but this is not how it's gonna stay <laughs> um, but this is the best I could do so far right now with um, what I'm gonna be doing so this is my first place I'm so excited I'm so excited about it and I'm here so I hope you guys enjoy what I'm about to do with this channel, um, the journey of how life is going to be unfolding for me now, and how things are about to go. So we will see each other soon. I won't be gone. I won't be gone for too long. Um, but yeah, this is like my point of view of my. I guess you'll call it my luxury apartment in Atlanta, right? So this is my spot. This is my. Oh, by the way, look at the lighting up here. The lighting is so cute. So, um, it's the current lighting that I have in my kitchen. I'm excited for things that are about to come. By the way, you might see this outfit again in another video because I'm literally about to run out the house to get some shopping and stuff done and some ideas. Or, this could possibly be a whole video all together. Hmm. We'll see. So, I'm gonna take you guys with me today and We'll figure out what to do in this new place as far as, I can't tell if I'm gonna go with like a marble feel in the bathroom or if I'm gonna go for like a beachy feel, but I also feel like if I do a beachy feel in the bathroom, that it could be, it's not gonna be transitional as far as seasons and I want it to transition in other seasons too. We'll see, but I'm about to run out the door and see how this all, and discover new stuff that I need. Alright, see you guys soon. See now, I was looking at bath mats here, but these aren't what I'm looking for. I saw some cuter ones, honestly, at Walmart that were a lot cheaper as well. Alright, so upstairs to Ikea was definitely a fail. <laughs> Nothing up there really is what I needed. So now I am downstairs looking for some products as far as like cookware. But I'm surprised that their cookware is so inexpensive. But I'm looking to like really invest in something that I like and that will last me a while. So a pan for $5.99 doesn't really feel like I will have longevity with it. But We'll keep skimming. I also can say, like, I saw some stuff in Walmart. Y'all know the brand Tasty? Tasty I've actually watched on YouTube, like a cooking channel, I guess. Um, we do different like, experiments. And I see here that I'm looking primarily to get something that's like all in one, opposed to getting things separate. I guess I'll get something that I need when I need it, but so far, Ikea is just not giving me what I thought I would get from it. So, let me just keep skimming around for ideas. And I wanna say, I like this part of Ikea more. And here's a, a secret, by the way. I actually got my plates like this from Ikea, but I've never seen the white ones all together again. But I did get the white ones. Oh, and there they actually go. You know, as I say, I've never seen them again, but here they go. This is actually the set I have at home. And these were for $19.99 for the full set. I wonder what this is. And it comes in boxes. But, yeah. So, now what I do need is some more new utensils. But I don't really like these. Now this is definitely my shish when it comes to wine. So I'm thinking eventually getting something like this for when I do like different, not just like events, but when I want to like socialize with friends and have them over, I can pour wine into here and we can just drink from here and serve it that way opposed to the bottle. Um, so this is definitely my section, but you know the kind of um, wine glasses that I really want are very much Olivia Pope-esque But I don't know where to find those kind of glasses. I feel like I found a few at, um, on Amazon 
but I'm with some big old like crazy wine glasses. This is kind of big. What's the price? Don't know the price. Oh, I think no. The champagne flute glasses are for four ninety nine currently. I don't know, but you know what? I live for a flute glass like this. It's really nice. But I would prefer with no design to it, just straight up. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. So I think I found something I absolutely love already. So this caught my eye from afar. Oh, it's only $5.99. They have like sheer curtains here. But this looks almost netted. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a net to it. Yeah, it's more like a net. <clears throat> I thought it was gonna, it came across super sheer from afar, but it looks like it's like a net. And I want it to be closed off. I'm super picky as you can see, and I know what I want. <laughs> I look for it until I get it. But I love the price of it, because it's only $4.99 though. For a white, yeah. It's called the lace curtains. Okay, so it's more so about the lace, but I wanted more of a just sheer curtains for the bathroom, also for the bedroom, and for the living room as well. So we'll see until I find something even close to it. So made it to the lighting area, and I was looking at lights like this on Amazon, and I think this does look pretty cute. It seems kind of sturdy. I'm not sure if it's tall enough. I wonder what the height is on these, but I'm noticing the pricing. $79. $59. It's about $59. This is definitely an idea I was looking into. I'm not sure if it's going to be the decision, but I'm really taking my time. I really want to take my time as far as like what I pick and choose for this because I don't want to buy something that I feel like eventually I'm not for like I just really I really want to invest slowly for surely well this is a smaller one yay nay maybe not I don't know I tried um but yeah I think for sure Bed Bath & Beyond may hit what I'm looking for um as far as when it comes to bathroom curtains i think what i'm gonna focus on today is bathroom and some stuff for the kitchen so i can start cooking so pots and pans definitely get myself an air fryer and then i'm going to look to get the bathroom together because i'm tired of my feet hitting the floor and it's cold okay that's not gonna happen so fine what's next all right so this is definitely something that caught my eye i absolutely love these so I think I might actually mimic this in my place too, currently. Um, I do like this, but I'm a little nervous about it, to be quite honest. I'm not sure if it's gonna hit the way I want it to, but this big old glass right here, the cylinder, is only, here we go, $19.99. I think it's a decent fair price for as big as it is, and I can get one of those and just put that like on my counter and even maybe one in the bathroom, I'm thinking. Yeah, here's the cylinders here, so I think I'm gonna get it. It's the best thing I've seen all day here, so and I really, really do like it, so I think I'm gonna get it. It's a go. It's a yes for me. So, let me pick it up now. Okay, so Ikea, I got two things. I'm actually surprised that little leaf thing cost like five dollars. But I did end up getting that white cylinder, which is actually really good. Now I am going into Target. Hopefully we can find something good in Target uh, and reasonably priced because if they don't, I'm definitely gonna bring my butt right back to Walmart. Cause Walmart had the cutest shower rug that I definitely think is gonna be like a hit for me. Um, so I'm going into Target now as I said I was. So let's see what Target has to offer, at least when it comes to bathroom, um, curtains, bathroom curtains and curtains in general for the house. So, we'll see. All right, so. All right, so now we're in the bathroom area when it comes to Target. So far, no ma'am. <laughs> anything else? Let's see if there's anything cute. Okay, well, okay, okay. Not bad. Oh, 
See now, somebody broke this. Why? You broke it and you left it? Okay. I'm assuming these are for like jewelry and stuff. This is something I wouldn't need, but it's definitely sturdy and heavy. I do like this. I'm trying to get a soap dispenser. Oh. They are really cute. I think this kind of sheer too. Mm, $24.99 though. We'll see. Project 62 does have some really nice stuff. I noticed over here, this is a sheer one. I'm sharing it for $24.99 as well. But I don't think I want the circle patterns on it. I'd rather be like really clean lines though. Now this is definitely close. It's what I'm looking at. I love the sheerness, but I don't want no pink there. And I did want um, some ideas of like some tassels at the bottom. Nice tassels. Not sure if I want the blue. I'm trying to go with really, really soft neutral tones completely. Like this has yellow in it, which I'm not looking for, but I am loving the sheerness to it. Wait, I think we have one here. This is sheer. Don't see a price though. That's the mistake, no price showing. But they do have, hmm. Really inexpensive, it's only $6.99, it's plastic. I'm not sure if I wanna do anything plastic this time around. This is interesting. It's still cute though. Is it like a toothbrush holder? No. It looks like it could be. I think it is a toothbrush holder. No, that's a toothbrush holder. Oh, it is a toothbrush holder. <laughs> 9 dollars It's a thought. So far, I do like this. I do. I like that it's like a soft marble, it's not a harsh marble. I like the toothbrush holder. I do think it might be hard to clean this though because I'm not seeing any openings to it. I like the tray, I like the trash can. And it would go with exactly with what I'm looking for, but the price point, $20, $32, baby sleeve, $42 for all this. Because 42 and some change, so close to 50. You know, I can say that their stuff so far really isn't bad. The price point, mm, a little more than I would want to pay for it. But I'm just looking right now, and I think after I go to like Bed Bath and Beyond, I'll make my decision. I'm trying to stay away from doing any impulse buys. See, I like stuff like this, like dispensers like this. But I also feel like over time, it's gonna get a little dirty. So, this is only $7.99, and this is $7.99 as well, but I'd rather it be clear than to have like a little green to it. Maybe if it's near white, hmm. we'll see.